Gimme Yarn 418 and I'm back with another video. This is Thank God It's Finished with Bad Hair or TGIF. It's humid. I can't help it. It's frizzy. Um, today I'm going to talk about what I've been doing knit-wise, general craft-wise, stuff like that. This is my second time recording because I don't know what is going on with iMovie, but it keeps freezing on me when I record. So you don't need to know all that, but that's okay. Uh, what has been going on in the world of us? Not too much. We've gotten our RV back. The tour video is coming very soon. And what else is going on? Um, I did get some... Hmm. Did get some news on Monday uh, in regards to the person I know that is battling cancer that was a little bit uh, discouraging. Um, but we're kind of in a wait and see place right now. Uh, I haven't talked much about what's going on for the privacy of that person. It's, it's, uh, personal. So, um, any good prayers, good thoughts, good vibes you want to send her way would be greatly appreciated. Um, also tomorrow we are headed down to, not tomorrow, Thursday we are headed down to Boston to S Angel Memorial so that Dewey can have an intake appointment with cardiology for his heart murmur. I don't think there's going to be any problems with that. He'll probably have to start some medication and Max is going to follow up with his internal medicine doctor for when he was in the hospital last month and he will also have an intake with neurology so all of his services will be like his all of his specialty services will be at one hospital i apologize if you can hear the dogs barking i think my father-in-law just got home anyway what else i uh we are taking a very 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 short camping trip this weekend locally just to get out of these four walls <laughs> so what have i been working on I don't know how loud that's going to be for you guys, but I've been working on a lot and a little all at the same time. So let me start with what I have finished. The first thing I finished is a pair of socks for our friend out of Fifth Avenue Socksation. Great yarn. Love it. Woo! It was a, a gift from a lovely friend. She sent several of them, and this is the final skein I have. And I have loved every stitch I've knit with them, so... The colorway is rose. Here it is. They are finished. The heels do not match because I wanted the continuity on the top of the foot, so I just pulled the heels from the other side of the ball, and I'm very happy with them. They are matchy-matchy, not matchy-matchy, if that makes any sense. The stripes, sizes, and placement match up, but this starts at pink and this starts at purple, so I think she'll like those. That's pair four out of six for her. The other thing I finished is a test knit for Bad Wolf Girl Knits Designs. Uh, I don't, I think it's both, but either or at the same time. Anyway, this is a sweater that is called The Last Unicorn. It's not out yet. And I am knitting it, or I knit it out of I Love This Yarn Sport in Greybeard because it's for a two month old. So needs to be washed and I've combined two yarn bee sweet minis one was hello hummingbird and one was parakeet paradise which is just some um, solid colored mini skeins they're 40 grams each they're 100 yards of sport weight yarn so dropped a needle I have not blocked this or woven in my ends, but I want to show you guys anyway because it's adorable. I knit it short sleeve because babies grow like weeds and you never know if they're going to be in the 6 to 12 month size. No, this is the 12 to 18 month size. You don't know if that's going to be when they're 6 months old or when they're 18 months old. So <laughs> I figured if it's cooler weather, they can put long sleeves underneath it anyway. Here it is, without further ado, the last unicorn for Miss Sophie. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. And there's all my ends. Um, the white is also an I Love This Yarn sport, just in a white color, that I have in the stash. 
This pattern is also coming out in adult size, and I think I'm going to have a last unicorn sweater. I'm not going to lie. That is all I have for FOs, so we'll move right on to whips. The first thing I have is a pair of socks um, out of a sock blank that I got from a local yarn store several years ago. I may have bought this with Terry. I think that's the last time I was at this shop, and it has since moved. Six Loose Ladies. can tell you how old it is. It was $20 for a sock blank. This, there's no colorway on it. This is what the sock blank looks like, and it does make two matching pairs of socks, matching-ish. This is called the Satellite Swizzle Sock, and it's still in testing, so I can't show you more than that. And here it is. I am, I've just passed the heel, and I'm working on the foot now. All right. Ooh, and that was the first sock. So I am like dropping stuff everywhere. I don't know where it went. There it is. Okay. My next whip is another last unicorn. Same yarn, same colors. This time for Miss Sadie, my BFF. Um. The only difference is her hearts are purple because that is her favorite color, so we have to. And I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see because it's kind of bunched up on the needles, but I am working on the body, and hers will also be short sleeve. I love this sweater. I think it's so cute. Who says 41 is too old for a unicorn sweater? I don't know. Not me. <laughs> Um, I do also have the Vivid upstairs, but I haven't worked on it. I got to get back to that. Got to get back to it when I have a little bit more mind space to do so. Um, we have had a couple more editions of Auntie Craft Camp. And two weeks ago, three weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, we made birdhouses. And here is mine. Oh, it gets better. Gaudy Central. But it was a lot of fun. Did it with Sadie. This one had to do in, we had to do in two parts because the houses had to dry, which she wasn't too happy about. But um, I'll put up a picture here of Sadie with her birdhouse. And last week, she had a challenge from the library to do an upcycled craft craft. So we decided to do an egg carton craft and we made caterpillars and what else did we make? Penguins. Here's my caterpillar. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I made a caterpillar. I've learned that Eglin's best egg cartons are not the best for, <laughs> for crafting with, but that's okay. Their cartons anyway. And then I made, I didn't want to pull out more paint. So I made an orange penguin and I made a yellow penguin who really just looks like a chick. <laughs> and I will put a picture up here so you can see Sadie's penguin and caterpillars. She had a lot, seemed to really like um, the caterpillar project. And I think it's mostly because she loves to paint. I mean, she liked the birdhouse too. She really liked the birdhouse. There's two things she really likes in crafting, painting and gems. Are we surprised that a six-year-old likes gems? Probably not, so. Ah! There's mine again, in case you just needed to see the masterpiece. <laughs> um, what do I have planned? I have a few things planned. Sadie still wants a dress. Um... I still want to knit a Clara dress for Sophie. Maybe, maybe when I go camping, I'll take that. Probably not. Um, <laughs> I got to get back to Kristen's cabled sweater. That'll be after we get, maybe that'll be the big trip. We're taking a, a bigger RV trip in a couple weeks. Maybe I'll take that then. Um, and then I need to make some mini albums. 
So that's really all I have been working on. I don't think I have much else to share. I hope you guys are doing really well. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you like what you see, you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you. And I think that's it. I hope you guys are doing well. And until next time, I will talk to you real soon. All right. Bye-bye.